Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Big Bad Brad, a.k.a. Triple B, and I'm back with part four of our amazing 300 plus pen eBay haul. And as you can see, today we're going to be focusing on Quill. Quill isn't my area of expertise, but I know a good pen when I see them, and I've sold a few of these before, so I figured I would show you them before... I list them on eBay. All sorts of great pens. We have some new old stock pens, all in the boxes as you can see here. And, and we have a handful of Lucy's. So let's go ahead and take a look. And if you're a quill expert or know anything that could help, please feel free to let me know. And in this lot, there is 18 pens and I paid $53 for this lot. So not too shabby in my opinion. Let's get into it. First up, we're gonna start off with this sweet looking quill death set. And this death set features a silver and gold 50 cent piece. I'm not exactly sure if this is an authentic 50 cent piece, but none the least, it looks great. And it's a nice weighted desk base. And you just pop that right on your desk and it's ready to rock real sleek minimal and it's a great looking piece for any pen fan or a coin collector so I really like that one a lot I'm not sure the model like I said I'm unfamiliar with a lot of these and a lot of these actually have advertising on them like you can see in this lot right here we got a lovely matte plum or burgundy, I'm not quite sure in this lighting, but it's a nice 3M quill a ballpoint mechanical pencil set. Very nice in my opinion. And I don't mind that it has advertising on, because it's a nationally recognized brand, and people often buy pens, not just for the pens, but for the advertising on them. Here we have a beautiful looking quill set, pen pencil actually this one is two ball oh, no it is a ballpoint and a pencil and these ones are also 3m there might be one or two pens or sets in this i'm keeping but i'm not a big quill collector but they definitely made some nice writing instruments here we have one in matte black and this one has a z on the top of it i'm not sure what that logo represents but it's still a good looking pen. And a lot of these are in excellent shape. Some of the loose ones, they do have a little wear, but not that big of a deal. Alright, and here is another one of the new ones. This one has the sleeve and everything. Open that up. And this one says Spec Tech Systems, Division of Butera Bros. Now, this kind of advertising, I don't usually get as excited about because it's not a really a national recognizable brand it's more of a local piece but I do like some local pieces but usually when they're from my area and those of you that pay attention to the channel you already know I'm from Janesville Wisconsin home of the Parker Pen and I believe Quill was also made in the United States or at least some of them. I'll have to kind of keep an eye out on the. I'll have to keep an eye out and watch and see if I see any markings in this video. Next up, we have another one. And this one is a little bit of a fat boy here compared to the other ones. And this is gray. We got a nice black top on it. And all these are twist activated so far. I really like that one. And I might even end up keeping some of these. And if you would like to see me review any, maybe I could do that for you. So just let me know if you get into quills. Next, we're going to get into some of the Lucy's. I'm going to move some of these back a little bit and make a little more room. There we go. Now we're ready for action. First up. Matte black gold trim quill ballpoint pen. 
focus that bad boy up. And on the top of this, it says EBP, but it don't say nothing else on the pen. So I'm not sure what the EBP represents. Still a good looking pen, none the least. Next up, we have one in stainless steel. And this one says Hobart on there. Um, I have heard of Hobart, but I am not sure what it is. A nice stainless steel pen. It's got a little bit of funk on there, but I think that should clean up rather nicely. Overall, great condition, very light scratching on this cool pen. Next up is a pen that snuck into the lot. It's not a quill, but it's a sweet looking cross pen. And it's got the medical snake here. I forgot the term for that. But it's a good looking pen, and I do like that one quite a bit. Here we have another one in matte black, and this says Northwest on the top. Here we have another matte black with chrome trim, and on top of this one, it says Anderson and I just noticed on this pen right here if you can see that it does say USA right here so that answers the earlier question a lot of the quill pens were made in the US I'm not sure if they are still or if they're made somewhere else. I'm not sure if they're all made in the USA or if that was just a vintage thing. So let me know if they are still making them in the USA. I'll probably have to do a little research before I list these because like I said, I'm not the most familiar with this brand. Here we have another beautiful looking quill pen. And my camera just don't want to focus good for me tonight. I think a lot of times when I shoot videos in the evening, I don't get the same natural lighting through my window. So a lot of times it's hard to get my camera to focus in real crisp. Next up, we have a big old quill. And this one says Western National. And this is a cap activated. And you guys know I love a cap activated pen. This one's a little big for me and I don't get into white pens as much. But if I get a big pen, I like it to have a little more heft. And this one's a majority of plastic, so it's a little light for my liking. And this pen features a large blue W on the cap. Western National. Let's go on to the next bundle. And in this bundle, we have four more pens. So we're wrapping it up already. I know this is a short video. So I'm not going to take up a whole lot of your time, but these are probably my favorite ones in the lot. And here we have it. A nice carbon fiber look, gold trim, and this pen says mosaic on the top. And let's uncap that. And this one is a mechanical pencil. And I do really like this one a lot. I'm not sure what mosaic is. If it didn't have this on the top, I would probably keep that. Looks nice in the hand. This pen's got some good heft, some nice weight to it. And it's a little different than a lot of other quills, so I really like that a lot. Then we have this beautiful blue quill that says Mannheim's Cade with the California right there in the middle. So I'm guessing this is some kind of business out of California. But a nice classic blue. It's got th this band here with three lines on it. Chrome trim. Good looking writing instrument. And I really like the heft to it. And this one is also twist activated. Alright. We're to the end already. I know it was fast. And here we have the last one. But before 
I show you the last one, I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you enjoy these videos, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what lot has been your favorite so far out of this epic 300 plus pen eBay haul. And this is a nice pocket style pen. You can fit right in your pocket. And this is Land Rover on top. We all know what Land Rover is. A legendary car company. And this one looks like this. I do like this one. Actually, I'll probably end up keeping this one. I don't drive a Land Rover, but I do like the pocket style and how it starts off real small and gets big. It's got some nice heft to it. Totally different than the rest of these, and I can dig it. And there we have it. That's all we have for the quill today. Stay tuned. The last video is coming up soon, and we're going to be looking at the Pentels. So many Pentels. I got four bags in the next lot, and I'm excited to show you them, and I'm even more excited to unbag them because we are keeping a lot of them because we like the Pentels. They're great for doing your sketches before you're dry, dr the for doing sketches when you're drawing, writing. Our daughter loves them for her homework. And yeah, stay tuned for that. If you want to see these pens a little closer up, stick around to the end and we'll put together a little slideshow with some music for you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the cool lot. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Ch -ch 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 that many of the quills were made in the USA. Well, I just spotted on this one, the one I really like, here it says, made in China. So, that answers my question. Not all are made in the USA, and I'll probably be selling this one now. I'm not the biggest um, Chinese made.